So that um So that perp lady I just showed y'all with the red bag. She didn't have red clothes, but her bag, I mean her bag was red. And so she on the bus what she did was she started she was filming me for no reason at all and then the instant I looked at her she gave me the hate anger look like as if I'm forbidden to look and then She was, she was secretly just randomly started filming me for no reason. And then it gave me the hate, anger look like as if I'm forbidden to look. And, and so then she went and switched her phone sideways and tried to play it off like she wasn't filming or recording me. And I was just minding my business, listening to Bible scriptures on the bus you know, trying to get closer to God and trying to better my life and stuff. And so then, later on, I went and I turned around and she looked, like, looked at me like she wanted to kill me or something. But earlier, we were at the, the main downtown bus station and We were at the main downtown bus station and she was talking and laughing with um, a man who had on a red shirt and some red in his shorts. And, and it's like her, them two and a, and a younger female had, um, she was wearing like a olive green shirt and drinking out of a um, Burger King cup or whatever. And so they all migrated to come near me, you know. And, but I figured, oh, well, he's wearing a red shirt and she's wearing um, a red purse, then they're perps, you know. So, I mean, you know it's random when you don't have red clothes and you're walking around with a red purse or somebody's wearing, like, green and blue shirt and you know, gray pants and then some off weird ass red shoes. They do stuff like that, you know? So, also, like when she got on the bus, it was a, a black male bus driver. Well, most of the bus drivers are black anyway. And, um, and he gave me an attitude when I got on the bus. Like he thought he was too good to say hello to me. And I hardly even ride the bus with him. And that perp in a black Cherokee, um, Jeep Cherokee had his arm hanging out the window. So um, earlier also, I saw a perp riding. Look, the person in the passenger side of that red van has a um, red shirt, faded red shirt. So, <clears throat> and look, two somewhat similar um, SUVs. One slightly newer than the other, or they both the exact same. Now that, yeah, one slightly newer than the other. So, then they had a, um, a perp with his arm hanging out the window, and he had a cigarette in his hand. So, taking these dirty buses, I gotta be. I gotta be, um, I gotta get to work two hours early. Well, actually, yeah, I have to be here two hours early because I don't, I didn't, I mean, the buses, this route, they say, runs every two hours. 
this route they say it runs every two hours. <sighs> so um I couldn't take the bus downtown at 11.30. I had to do it at 9.30. I had to take the 9.30 bus, you know. He got his arm hanging out the window. Masonic gang stalker. And he's got his head turned because he knows he is, his head turned to her. <sighs> Masonic gang stalking criminal. And this is the position that they had their arm hanging out the window. In that specific position. And he got a Louisiana license plate, too. I hope he, he don't deserve to be from New Orleans. But then and again, they got wicked people from there anyway. So he moved his fucking arm now. <clears throat> so, I, my, my, I don't know how many hours of sleep I got, but... My, my sleep was much better. Much, much, much better last night. I don't even remember what time I went to bed. Um, and I, I just went, I mean, I did a few little things around the motel room. And um, then I, I went to... Um, I went to bed early. I guess I went to, I was dozing off. I guess it was about 9.30 I went to bed. And then I woke up at almost 8.30 today. So, um, I think maybe once in the middle of the night I got up and had to use the bathroom. And you know, oh, they, they got nets, outdoor nets around here. So my hands are kind of full. So I'll see y'all.